Let's solve this equation using a method that only mathematicians use, so watch to the end to find out what it is. In this method, instead of relying on the order of operations, we need to divide everything into terms. We have 3 as the first term, and then we have minus 1 times this parenthesis times 3 as a second term. This one doesn't count because it is inside of a parenthesis that is multiplied by some numbers. The second step in this method, we need to evaluate each of them to get numbers. What do I mean by numbers? Here, we have 3, we don't even need to calculate anything. And it's pretty clear to understand what is 3. It is for example 3 apples and etc. But when we have minus 1 times this parenthesis times 3, it is not clear how many apples do we have. So let's calculate it using the same method, but this time the terms will be separated with a multiplication. Right now we have minus 1 times the parenthesis and times 3. So let's evaluate each of them. Wait, if you like the explanation so far, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Minus 1 is just a number, so we can write it. Then we have times, and this parenthesis gives us 2. And again we have times, 3. Ok, we have successfully evaluated each term, so now let's calculate. Minus 1 times 2 gives us minus 2, minus 2 times 3 gives us minus 6. So ok, so we have successfully evaluated two terms, 3 and this monstrosity. So now we just need to add them. We have 3 over here and we need to add minus 6. If we add a negative number, we can just write 3 minus 6. Or of course you can write 3 plus minus 6, that is the same thing. So 3 minus 6 gives us minus 3. And minus 3 is the final solution. If you want to test your knowledge in similar problems, watch this video and comment your solution. Have a nice day!